Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome to Nerd Man 13 online game. Taylor Mays lays out down and kicks in to start off the game, and we got a fumble recovery. Weird way to start off the game, and the funny part is, I wasn't even like that concerned about this game early. This is an unranked match. I played at like 1 o'clock in the morning. Really, this game had no significance to me. I, mean, I wasn't a playing subscriber or anything. This is a random unranked match. And um, I was kind of testing stuff out, kind of just playing the game to play it. And early, I was getting a lot of breaks. Here, I got a pick with Mal Luga right after getting that fumble recovery with Taylor Mays. I mean, I didn't even set up my depth chart or anything like that. I was kind of testing out routes early and stuff like that. And this game eventually got serious, though. I'll tell you when. Like, this route definitely will not throw in the game. Yeah, I'll tell you when the game gets serious, probably around like halftime ish. But um you you could tell. But um right now it's just me running random plays. I'm running I keep on running these up and out routes I usually don't run anymore. But I'm just running them because they usually work anyways. This streak I would have never ran. But um I threw it anyway, threw it right at him and I got it. Here, first down goal at the one yard line. We try to run in, we get nothing. Second down, we run hurry up, nothing happens. Third down, we call a run for Green Ellis. Nothing, and all of a sudden, fourth down and one, we're like, fuck it, we'll go for it. And we called a quarterback um, sneak here, and it actually works. It looked like it was going to get stuffed, but Dalton kept his head up, and he got in the end zone, thankfully. So, it's a 14 nothing lead for us early, and um, things are looking good. We might blow this guy out the gym. Who knows? We'll see what's up. He's moving the ball a little bit downfield, you know. He threw a pick early. He didn't even get a chance in his first possession because of some Madden BS. I, I really wish we would have gotten the pick there. Number 22 kind of just stood there and let it happen. And now he's got a decent running game. So we're looking out for that. He's calling the draw play. Three rush, 53 yards. That's always something to worry about. Then he calls the curl route here. He kept on um, running that underneath route to get the curl route open and eventually the streaks. And for some reason, I never adjusted to it. Probably because I was playing this game at 1 o'clock in the morning. I usually don't have my best judgment when I play this game late at night. I mean, I just kind of just skip through stuff, play. Call the same exact defense every single play. Won't switch it up at all, which is what I did in this game. I ran um, the same sugar bus, whatever the sugar buff or the fuck, the entire game. And, um, yeah. It kind of it did hurt me in the beginning. And, um... Here he gets a pick, a user pick. I would have not thrown that if it was in a real game. Because I had B open, but I was trying to test out the streaks with the tight ends. And obviously that did not work, so I did not go back to that. And now we got the pick, and now he needs a chance to tie the game real quick. He's right back in this game as soon as he went out. And here, um, this was just the same thing he was killing with the entire game. For some reason, I just never adjusted. I don't know why. I mean, you could tell he was running the same play, especially later in the game. He'd be running the same play for most of the game. I just never adjusted for some reason, but um, nonetheless, we still have a 14-7 leader right now. And he gets a... um. Throwing it across the line of scrimmage penalty, so that's an extra five yards and a loss of down. We'll take that. Here, Dave Wilson drops a wide open pick, but on third down and 15, he calls the curl route. He took the purple away with that underneath route. Like I said, what he was doing the whole game, and then he got that touchdown. There, he shook off my tackle. Next play, third and one. He gets the stick route to go to, I believe, Cruz. I'm not sure. And I'm there trying to get my own fade streak going. I was getting a little bit frustrated. Next play, I throw the flea flicker. Why not? And this dude, Brandon Tate, is going all the way to the end zone on this one. We got him to bite. Absolutely no one was deep to cover him, and we got the touchdown. And now we're back up just like that. As soon as we get up the lead, we got it right back on one big play. And, um,. Yeah, we've kind of been having quite a few big plays in this game early. That's basically what it's been. Big plays, either interceptions or touchdowns or who knows. And once again, he's moving the ball downfield, and all of a sudden, it looks like he has a legitimate offense. Then again, I really was not playing the best defense I probably could have played. I mean, my user skills were pretty good, I guess you could say. But um, the rest of my play calling was pretty bad, I'll say that. But um, here he tries to get out the pocket with Eli Manning on third down. But the Infinity Engine costs him a first down. He goes for it on fourth and one. And Terrence Newman knocks it out of Hakeem Nix's hands. So big stop for us. I mean, he probably should have gone on that first down one way or another. We'll take the break, I guess. I'm getting all these breaks in the game I don't care about. Like, come on. And then I throw a deep here to Brandon Tate trying to get another flea flicker going. You see, I've never thrown that flea flicker. You know what I mean? The game is not serious yet. I'll tell you that much. Here, we try to go to... um. AJ Green, we get that one. We're kind of just dinking and dunking the ball downfield until we can get the touchdown. We hit up Jermaine Gresham. He finds a hole and it's all the way to the 20 yard line. And then look at this play. He's all the way on the other side of the field and immediately runs down Gresham. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not even going to put that on myself. That's just a good play by him, all right? I mean, I'm not going to say, I, I don't even know that's a bait or what. He kind of just ran across the field, but um, I'll just give him good credit, right? He made a good play, but um, that's kind of when the game got serious. That's when I was like, all right, I kind of want to win this game. And look at this. I do the same exact thing to him. I come from the other side of the field, bait him into running this fade streak, and we get the pick right before halftime with two seconds left. He was in field goal range. Instead, we pick it off, and no one's getting points before halftime. 
maybe not, not even us. He gets another user pick, though. He's been, like, user picking the hell out of us in this game. It doesn't get any better in a second yet, trust me, but, um, hat time show. One thing I realized about this NFC Championship game, everybody has, like, this one cool legendary factor to the game. Like, there's one guy you want to root for, Ray Lewis. I, I don't know, I'm sure how many people want to root for Randy Moss, but still, after all he's put into the game, he has a chance to finally win a ring after his years in, um, Minnesota with the greatest offense ever, probably. Well, potentially, I don't know. Depends on your opinion. Um, Maybe the greatest offense ever in New England with Tom Brady in 2007. They didn't get the ring that time. Now he has a legitimate chance with the 49ers. Then there's um Tony Gonzalez. He won his first. Look at this nonsense. He morphs through my body. I'm not giving him that one. I mean, he made an okay play, but that's not supposed to be a pick. You don't morph through a man's body to get a pick. And there, I wasn't even watching Cruz, but I still almost made the play. But I couldn't because, I don't know, who else watched him? I was not watching Cruz. I just swore at the last second. Almost made a play on the ball. I wish I could have, but I think I ran that one too deep. And then he gets the touchdown here to tie it back the game. But yeah, Tony Gonzalez, everybody loves Big, to Big Tony, and hopefully he can get that ring. We'll see what happens, though. And then, um, of course, P um, the Patriots, they have Brady and Belichick, enough said. And then, I think I mentioned Ray Lewis. I think we all know what's going on with Ray Lewis right now in his retirement story. But I'm back into this game now because it's a tie game. They're down to six. Jermaine Gresham just dropped a pass on us, and we decided to go for it on fourth down because we didn't really give a shit. And we get it. Same exact route to Gresham, except for this time he hangs on to it. We'll take it. Next play, now Brandon Tate's dropping the ball. Come on, guys. And we call it a running. I was not running the ball i probably should have ran the ball more because as you can see five rushes for 35 yards is a seven yard average so we should have taken that and then here um bernard scott like I, yeah i wanted bernard scott in the game but leonard i'm not sure who just get brian leonard some leonard he's slow as shit he does not run a route and plus i threw it like the wrong way by accident and i what that results in is a pick and of course he gets another user pick like goddamn he's blocking the entire field right now god damn it guys we can't let that happen and um this game is serious now. Like I said, it got serious by the end of the second, um, the first half, and that's when I started taking my read seriously. And I'm like, all right, forget it. No more testing. We're playing this game to win because I'm just too competitive, right? I want to win the game, and that's what we're trying to do here. Getting the huge pick in the red zone, second down nine, under four minutes left to go in a tie game. We do that. Don't run out of our own end zone to Ben Jarvis Green Ellis. But yeah, I'm just too damn competitive, all right? I don't care if I'm down 30 points or 5 points or what. We're going we're going for the end zone, all right? And that's what we do on the flea flicker with 3 minutes left in the game to Ben, Brandon Tate, not Ben. Ben's like his brother or something, and he gets a touchdown. Hell to the yeah, baby. 7-point lead. Now it's his turn to drive downfield. I don't know how we got that throw in there, but he got it nonetheless to Martellus Bennett. Next play, he calls the curl route. Now he's going for the fade streak. I don't know why I didn't, I don't know who I was covering, but um, yeah, you can see he's running like the same play. The drag underneath that took away the, um, the purple, and then he would run the streak there with Cruz or Knicks, one of them. Here, I try to make the play. I came to, um, Late though, because he just threw it right away. As soon as he saw the suck down, he was like, screw it, I'm going there. And I never made the adjustment, because I just was not aware of it, unfortunately. But, um, we got ball back anyways, and it's a chance to basically end the game. Kill clock, get a game winner, whether it's a field goal or a touchdown, and we're good, right? I mean, it's all about getting downfield. First of all, we got to do that, and we're doing a pretty good job of that. We're not running hurry up. We're not in a big hurry to get downfield because all we need is field goal range to win, and we are already at the 46-yard line with a minute left, and we decide we're taking a deep shot for Brandon Tate, and he gets his third touchdown in the game. Random, right? All of a sudden, I throw that. I have not thrown one of those streaks like the entire game. I saw him one-on-one. -on -one. I know that dude has a lot of speed. I know the Giants cornerbacks don't have a ton of speed. I think it was against Terrell Thomas. I was like, screw it. I'll throw it. And we got the touchdown. So now he's got 50 seconds left. All three of his timeouts. We got our defense on the field, even though it's my um shit defense. But still, there's not a lot of time for him to do anything. Here, I don't know how we completed this one. I don't know what number 22 is doing, but he gets it nonetheless. He's not even calling his timeouts. He tries to go for the end zone here, but he drops it. 11 seconds left now. Looking at the end zone again, he gets Hakeem Nix. Tie ball game. And he's going for the two-point conversion. I know he's running the stick route. So I'm going to try to pick it off on Cruz. But he throws it to Nix and gets the two-point conversion. And now we need a field goal to win the game. So seven seconds left. It's pretty much over for us. Unless... We call the flea flicker. We're looking downfield. Who do we got? I see my man AJ Green. Oh, damn. We almost had that one. And that would have went over the head of Corey Webster. We had AJ Green. He had a step. We could have potentially gotten the field goal range. Who knows? But, um, ah, that's just a, what could have been game, I guess. Really tough one to lose. I mean, it went from a game I didn't care about to a game and I was really pissed off that I lost. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, 
I hope you guys like this video, I guess. Well, let me tell you something. This is a video that quite a few commentators would not put up because people don't like putting up stuff like this, all right? But I care about you guys. I care about the entertainment factor and all that. I know you guys like this game and it pisses me off while I'm, like, editing this stuff, but, um, I do it for you guys, man. But, um, yeah. Hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't for more games like this, man. <laughs> more crazy-ass games like this, and I'll catch you guys next time.